just heading out to go get some steel. We've got our rig set up on there. We're gonna pick up um, some angle on some square tube and rod, a few little things for the next couple projects. Heading home now, got my stuff. That should, uh, should work for everything I need. I know it doesn't look like much, but it should be enough for the uh, campfire cooking racks and a grill, and then also a windmill for my mom. Welcome back to another episode of Big Redfish Dad YouTube. Um, what we got going on today is we just got back from the uh, steel yard picked up a few pieces of uh, angle iron, some rod, and some square tube. I'm going to make a uh, fire pit rack for uh, hanging your Dutch oven. You know, you can do that. And then um, also we're going to make a grill grate that can be hung over the fire in case there's not one at the campgrounds or you're, you know, just like to do a bare fire out somewhere. Um, you know, most of the places we go have those rings. Um, this is actually going to be a project for a live auction at church. So um, we're going to just uh, put this together this weekend and hopefully it'll turn out nice. Uh, we're going to change a few little things on it from the one that we made for our camper. Um, hopefully this will be a little bit better design. I drew it up on SketchUp, try to put some plans out there and I'll link that in the description to the website. Um, it's not really plans, it's more like a picture with some measurements. So um, you know you can figure it out on your own and just kind of play around with it. But. Braces. Uh, we'll be drilling three holes in each of those when we're done. I went ahead and cut all these off. Um, you know, you just saw. But I just went ahead and cut those in there because they needed notched, and um, it was just easier to use the hand grinder to do that. Anyway, right here's the, you know, the rough drawing I was telling you. I was just bringing it out here so that I can, you know, look at it. Um, but right now, this is, you know, I went ahead and made these. Right now, I got them notched out. Uh, when I grind them, I'll make them fit up nice. They're just a little bit big. So uh, next is to cut these at four feet and these little things at six inches. kind of uh, uh, grounded that off, not sure if you can see that, uh, at an angle here so it'll be able to slide up against that curved thing, um, the little curve, and they will go, yeah, i got the two sides here, and it's going to go right up in the corner like that, straight up, and weld along here and along there, and then around the bottom, and that'll be the uprights. Then, of course, on the plan, drill a hole here, hole here, hole there, and just use those tent spikes that um, we make. Uh, you get them at Home Depot, they're the long 12 inch, big old huge nails is what they are. Um, and you just pound those in. Uh, you may not even need it if you have the bar, once you get the bar across the top. And then, because um, that'll keep it pretty steady, especially if there's some weight on it. And then these will be welded on here, right here like this. So, and that'll be where the crossbar goes with the three hooks on it. So, now it's just going to be a bunch of welding. Hooks. 
Well, I sure am glad about this drill press because um, I've been able to do quite a few extra things that I normally, well, I still would do them with a hand drill, but just wouldn't be as easy and nice. Uh, like straighter holes and that kind of thing with this. So, good purchase. And, uh, you know, we went with the big one here because, well, never know what we're going to do, and it wasn't that much more than a bench one. So, um, well, this is a bench one. So, it wasn't much, that much more than the skill or the craftsman or the Ryobi. So, I mean, uh, got a lot of good reviews on these grizzlies. Pretty good stuff. Okay, so now I'm just going to drill the holes in the um, three stand legs, the stands parts. Okay, so this is what this will look like once it's welded together. I'll have that right there, like that. Have those pieces, and then these will just um, slide through the holes like this and pound them in. And then there'll be three for each one, so it'll be nice and stable. Jump. Okay, here's the finished product. I'm just using some carbon choke cleaner because I don't have any acetone, so this should be pretty good just to get some of that uh, scale off that um, when I was grinding and junk and clean it up just a little bit better so that paint will stick good. And so all I got left is to bend these two. Um, chains for their hangers and then we'll be done. So I'm just putting that in there and squeezing it shut. This one of course is for your Dutch oven and if you're not using him just hang him over here you know like that and then a uh, box or whatever. If you're going to use the grill you'll just hang the grill right here like this. And then your it will hang on to the two uh, hooks that we made. And then to adjust it, you just raise it up to ever what link you want and hang it on that link. And that will make it raise higher. So there it is. Um, basically it's pretty much freestanding. Um, does pretty well. If you were in sand or dirt, it probably would not necessarily need the stakes. Um, it just would make it a little bit more stable. So I'm going to include those in there too. Um, yeah, so the middle one's for your Dutch oven. And then, of course, there's the hangers and the grill rack. And uh, everything's the grill rack and the hangers are all seasoned. Um, put them in the oven a few times and got them nice and seasoned, so those will be good. And uh, the rest is just painted. We painted ours with regular paint. Um, it's far enough away from the fire. I don't think you need the high heat. Um, you know, it may may come off or something but um, it's pretty good paint so should be fine and then I like to use the chains because they're easily adjusted and I uh, just use a hot pad lift your pan up hook it up higher and there you go so anyway um, hope you enjoyed another project done thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video